I'm already excited to test out all the new Ibanez models here for 2020. So see you there. I'm now getting a small tour here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> right, we are now here inside the holy halls of Ibanez in Gutenstetten. And here's Mr. Specsheet Daniel, <laughs> like Frank has told me. He knows everything about the new models and we will now take a look at them, right? Sure. Yeah. Well, we will just start here maybe on the couch because this was my recent recording setup. We have taken a look at the new RG series and yeah, maybe you want to tell us a bit about it. Yeah, that's the new RG 1120 series and it's part of our prestige line. So mm -hmm. everything about it is very special and we're pretty happy about some of the additions that we made. For example, we have a very decent poplar barrel top on these ones, a basewood body, mm -hmm. H0 tremolo, the Marzio Fusion Edge pickups, and if you take a close look to the frets, they ah. shine golden because this is a special material, it's called Evo. These are Jessica Evo Gold frets. It's a special alloy that looks pretty golden and is uh, harder than nickel, but it can be rounded very nicely so it's not as sturdy as like uh, stainless steel, for example. So it gives you a very nice, smooth, and broken in feeling. Uh, yeah, and a pretty cool look, basically. And apart from that, it's uh, no frills guitar with a uh, 11 piece maple neck with purple heart and walnut. We have locking tuners, also very nice and come in handy when you got to switch uh, strings every now and then. And the cool thing about this is we have this uh, particular model available not just as a tremolo version, mm -hmm. but also as a fixed bridge version and a seven string bridge. And I think they're just right near us, so we will just take a look at yes. the different setups there. And I can tell you, yes, these frets are pretty awesome. And I say pretty much often today. <laughs> pretty, pretty. This is a pretty, pretty guitar. There we are. Ivan is currently shooting videos himself. He's got a pretty cool headless bass there. He it, likes it. And it's also a new bass here that just got released. We are now doing ASMR. So. <laughs> So come closer. Yeah. Just kidding. So this is a seven string version of the RG1127. Pretty much the same model, same tropical finish. But we have one very special guitar for you guys. It's okay. a limited edition for this year. Okay. It's over there. We do the ASMR thing now. <laughs> Turn down the volume, guys, because otherwise you'll probably blow your ears. <laughs> what else? What else should we take a look at? Um, I think we will. We shall take a look at this beautiful area there, because mm -hmm. these are guitars I cannot afford myself right now, and they are really beautiful. Right. Yeah, the Prestige series, they always have so great models. Mm -hmm. So let's check Also out. this year, as we might see. Oh yes, this is like the most interesting guitar ever because they have used a brown and black finish here. And yeah, Daniel told me like a few hours back this is rich light. Correct. So it's paper, a paper top. Yeah. This is paper, freaking black paper. Well, it's it's not as thin and uh, you know as uh, light as paper because it's basically condensed. So it's uh, put under high pressure 
so it becomes almost as, as hard and almost as sturdy as wood. Because of pressure. Ist das, das ist kein Holz, oder? Das ja, ist sicher richtig. richtig. Das ist kein Holz, das ist, ist Carbon? Das, ähm, Carbon? Nein. Oder? Nein. Okay, dann ist das... Ähm, Was gibt es denn für Griffbretter manchmal? Äh, scheiße, ah, weiß ich nicht. Uh, bridge Light. Ja, richtig, ja. genau, das ist Bridge Light. Das ist Papier. FR800. Die sieht schon böse aus. Da müsste noch ein bisschen mehr Schwarz rein irgendwo. <lacht> Alter, also das ist ja alles schwarz. Sogar das Logo. Ich wusste nicht mal, dass ein E-Mail ja. Gitarre ist, weil es nicht. Weil es halt nicht siehst. Ist, ich, ich muss da mit der anderen Kamera dran, das okay. sieht man hier nicht. Boah, die sind schwer. Ja, das ist schon ein massives Stück Kinyato. Du hast Bernacle Aftermath Pickups. Ähm, die sehen einfach aus, als ob sie dich zerfleischen ja. würden hier. Ein Paul Ferro Griffbrett, ja, Eisenholz. Weißen, ja. Eisenholz passt natürlich zur Metal-Gitarre, ne? Eisenholz? Paul Ferro, ja. Dann äh, schwarze Block in Ferro heißt ja Eisen. Ja, genau, stimmt. Paul Ferro. Ja. Ähm, Roasted Maple, natürlich, Locking Mechaniken. Das Coole hier ist eigentlich das ergonomische Shaping, das ist überall Bevel On top of a solid slab of mahogany. Oh, this is pretty. African mahogany. Mm -hmm. Beautiful mahogany, all the curves. Very sexy, it's an RD, uh, RGD, so it's a drop top. So you've got those nice bevels all over Now the place. Now I know what the D stands for, I always wonder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no scratch plate, so the pickups, they are set right into the body. Low pro edge, you've got also the Mazu Fusion Edge pickups. Makasa Ebony fretboard and it's got a reverse headstock which is so beautiful. Reverse headstocks, they're always nice. I like reverse headstocks, for instance. Ah. Right, let's go on. Last year we had a new introduction of a new series, which yes. was the RG5000 series. And this year we have some additions for mm -hmm. the series. For example, new mm -hmm. color. Orange. This is in your face orange. In your face orange. <laughs> it's not okay. the official title, but it almost looks like it would you know, jump into your face. It's a beautiful one. We've got bare knuckle brute force pickups in there. They got a very good clarity, and they are like basically suitable for all almost every style. Mm -hmm. We have a fixed bridge, so it's a basically no frills guitar. Yep, we've got a three-way switch, coil tab, volume tone, beautiful glow in the dark dots with a oh. nice binding. And I have to tell you, glow in the dark dots is the thing you want to have if you, if you want to play in a band. Because on stage, sometimes if you are like uh, losing your um, orientation, you should never do. But if you're like excited and such, you can lose your orientation as a not so professional player. And yeah, these things are magic. Mm -hmm. Great. And we have a five piece neck, maple walnut neck, beautiful guitar. But this is just like a new color, basically, with a, with a fixed print instead of a tremolo. I'm just like the girl now, because this mm -hmm. one is glittering and it's beautiful. It's called Cosmic Shadow. Cosmic Shadow, whoa. Yeah. It's, it's a little That's bit like, cheesy. like the Frozen Ocean finish that we had. Yeah, I was a fan of this one, mm -hmm. but then I was like, no, it has a tram system, and I'm not such a huge fan of tram systems. <laughs> well... <laughs> But it's awesome. I think yeah. I, I really, I really, really like this glitter stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the fishman tickets. Like the art, like the art type of. It's of, it's, of it's so beautiful. Yeah. I mean, look at this guitar. It's so beautiful. Then in the same style for 2020, we have this beautiful cosmic shadow finish. I mean, I mean this is like, just ah. Oh. Yeah. It's guitar porn. It is. <laughs> Especially, it matches the, the silver pickups pretty pretty well. And then we have all the, the binding and the glow in the dark inlays and the up in the fretboard. It's just a hell of an instrument. And how much is it? That's always the thing you uh, have to ask. Two grand ish. So <gasps> it's not inexpensive, but it's made in Japan. Yeah, so the price. Hence the, the price. price tag. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a third one, which is also pretty new because it comes with Fishman. Humbucker singer called Ooh, Humbuckers. This is like a really cool mixture. I yeah. haven't seen something like that in your models before. Not, not yet, no. Not so it's, yet. It's a first for 2020. Awesome. And this guitar is all the bling bling that you could wish for. You have like a body Ooh. binding. And it's glittering again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Silver finish, low pro edge, golden edge, low pro edge tremolo, Fishman pickups with two voicing options. 
again with the beautiful super wizard neck, five piece, and all the contours, and all the gorgeousness you would expect from a Japanese RG. Why are you designing so gorgeous guitars in 2020? Well, greetings out to our Japanese friends that always come up with those beautiful colors and uh, beautiful you know, design choices of the guitar. So. You did well, guys. <laughs> yeah. At least for me. I'm such a victim for <laughs> awesome well, guitars. Well, this, this is it for the, for the 5000 series. What else do we have? AZ? Shall we take a look at the AZs? Maybe. There is a, a guitar Frank was really a fan of. Oh yeah. Can you like, show me? Absolutely. And I can also give you a little bit of a background story because Frank has been spending like hours in the showroom throughout the last couple of days just to figure out which AZ model he likes best. Stop. Guys, I will show you the guitars and we will turn this into a game. Tell me which of these guitars is Frank's favorite. You won't guess right. Is it the white one we already introduced last year, Pearl White, AZ2402? Mm -hmm. Is it the shell pink one, the flat finish? Also, we had this one already last year. This is a pretty new one, it's Black Flat, AZ2402 mm -hmm. and BKF. Then we have a beautiful new one. It's a Ash AZ, but it's got 22 frets, two humbuckers. So this is a first for the AZ range. No scratch plate and an Ash body. So it's very lightweight, very lightweight, and it resonates very well. And it looks a bit like Yassi Hofer's guitar. A little bit, yeah, it's got the same finish, the same, um, same finish, yeah, the, the, the burst finish. But this one is much lighter. And also in terms of the tone, her guitar is older. And this one is Ash, so it's got more like mids and more mm -hmm. honk to it. So it's a very nice addition because this is definitely a first for 2020. Okay. Well, the next one in the range is Hazy Rose Metallic. Again glittering. Again Yay. glitter, glitter, glitter. And, and he says it suits me. Whatever that means. I think so. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, for a grown-up girl. Oh, right. Like it suits for you. <laughs> and then we have the blue one. This is the seafoam blue. Baby blue, like if you're expecting a girl with your wife or your husband, you will get this guitar. If you're just expecting a boy, maybe you will get this guitar. And, and if yeah. you're getting a metal fan, you probably go for this guitar, or Pink Floyd fan. That's a very nice one. Cool. Very, very Gilmore-esque with the white pickups and the chrome cover mm -hmm. in the bridge position. Yeah, so we have here another blue one here. Yeah, this is a premium one with a beautiful poplar top. Also first because we have a chrome humbucker in the bridge position. And uh, also we have some new tuning tuners on it. There you go. Uh, I was just like being really frustrated with the old go-to trams because last week I have been shooting a music video with my band over sands and just a string broke and I just didn't know how to change strings. Like I was that stupid. I, I was never that stupid before, but I'm pretty, pretty happy that there are new tuners in there now because the guitar I got, the Tequila Sunrise is such a beast. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. I think I will change the tuners for good. <laughs> well, it always depends. These ones are also very good, but uh, it's like a matter of, you gotta get used to either using those kind of locking tuners in the back or using the locking mechanism in the front because this uh, is also very self-explanatory but you gotta get used to it so it's like a habit basically okay know? yeah but you guys you have to know this finish because my seventh string is also cerulean blue burst mm -hmm. with this beautiful beautiful burl yeah. and then we have here this on the same series like the tequila sunrise correct yeah there's black. a premium one this is and black eyes this is dragon yeah. eye burst this is a new one the sea foam green flat uh, i have used this one in a video yeah. i think yeah yeah and also another poplar one so poplar is definitely a thing for ibanez in 2020 with golden hardware and a beautiful dark tone finish right very interesting this was a lot of a set guitar one. porn which and one is i know <laughs> You know? That one! <laughs> <laughs> it's this guitar here! Can you believe it? A full grown man who likes a pink glittering guitar! Well, Frank! This is the guy who likes this guitar! Which one? The pink one! The, pink, the hazy? Yes! I love it! I love it so much! I, 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 actually, I don't like the color, but I have to hear the sound. It's just amazing! Yeah, that's like, just like, an excuse. You like, really like the color. Yeah, it's like a hold on steroids, which sounds like a, a neck through or something. That's 
so Unbelievable. We should put a Floyd Rose on that then and call, call it Pink no. Floyd. Oh, Pink oh, Floyd. No, no. This is okay, such a is bad movie. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I like bad jokes, but this was really... Pink Floyd, seriously? <sighs> seriously? Yeah. Well, it's all about tone, and this proves it. Even the worst color choice that you could make is something... It's not the worst color choice. I yeah. mean, the... well, cool. well, okay. There are people that like this color. Absolutely. Do you think they have bad taste? No, not at all. I, actually, <laughs> I, I, I like it myself too, but a lot of, you know, there are a lot of people that are prejudiced when it comes to colors. They always say, you can only play metal with a black guitar. Yeah, that's stupid. So. I just don't own, oh, I own one black guitar, but oh, all yeah. the other guitars are pretty colorful. This one is beautiful. Like I have own. played on it, and I think I will also play on it if someone will just hand it over to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Right. More guitar porn. Yeah. This is the new SA series, right? Yeah, correct. With natural binding. And... It's looking like a desert in Africa, I think, with yeah. like an oasis, which yeah. is pretty. Like a shoreline. Beautiful. Basically. Yeah, a shoreline also. But this one reminds me more like, I don't know, like a desert. Okay. Just don't know why. Or beach. Oh. I think it makes you feel awesome. Look at this. I think I know this finish. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> From where? Well. I think I might have an Axion label with this color, but I don't remember correctly. Hmm. <laughs> I might Axion have. Axion label? S61? Well. <laughs> oh, and we have a new color for the semi. Or two new colors for this the This is label. in your face yellow. Yep, correct. This is beautiful. Let's just see if this is the same gradient for my hair. <laughs> it's beautiful. And then another beautiful rose gold flat. Mm -hmm. Like a rose. This one is actually really classy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if someone, even a girl in like in a Victorian white dress mm -hmm. would play this. Yeah. That's so stylish. Yeah, and we have also full hollow version of it, so whether you want to have a semi-hollow tone... Full hollow. Yeah, full hollow. Like camera doesn't Hello. get through, but nearly. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, we've got plenty of plenty more. Um, I think Yassi has already played through a lot of guitars, and we will have a few more at NAMM show too. So uh, I'm pretty sure that you will see many, 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 many new guitars on Yassi's channel, and we're looking forward to hearing from you, how you like it. Uh, I'm also really looking forward to edit all the videos for you guys because yeah. I have played on one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten guitars approximately yeah. and I have my fives already and it was okay. so much fun to discover new models. So thank you so much for this small okay. tour. Hey. Uh, for some love guys, <laughs> spread love, not bye hate, bye. bye. Hey guys, I hope you have enjoyed the very first of three Ibanez dedicated videos. This is the vlog where I presented you all the models in a whole and the following two videos will just focus on two series Ibanez has released completely fresh this year. These aren't new series but like fresh models from the series that already exist. So stay tuned for these two videos with amazing sound samples and crazy stuff. At this point I want to say special thanks to Ibanez, to Daniel and to, to Frank for inviting me there. It was such an amazing day together with you guys and all the new models are just plain amazing. Another special thanks go out to my patrons on Patreon who support me there and special thanks go out to Mike, Michael, Adlin, Andreas, Gerrit, Michael, Jeff, Ryan, Arno, Ivan number 9, Bruno Pierre, Hara, the Sanaya Breakfast Club, Thomas and Lukas. Thank you so so much for your amazing support. If you also want to become a patron just check out my page, I offer different rewards there. And yeah, otherwise stay tuned for more videos this year and Rock on.